What's going on everybody? This is your boy Mike from Wicked Ink and today I'm going to be doing my overall review of Season 1 of CW The Flash. First of all, I want to apologize. I know it's been a while since I had a video out. I know y'all been waiting and waiting and... Yeah, but we've had some things going on. I've been going back and forth to Ohio. My computer kind of messed up for a little while. Yeah. And basically, I got a new computer. Uh, it's an Alienware. Um, it's got enough power to do what I needed to do. So I will be producing more videos. Um, but I, do, I am sorry that I haven't made one in a while. But I'm here to make up for it now and in the future. So here we go. Okay, so if you're a Flash fan, I highly recommend you watching this TV show if you have not done so already. Um, you can, first I want to talk about like the, the CG part of it. You can blatantly tell like the first episode, um, the way they did it, the way it was written and all. It was still written very well. The whole thing is written very well, but... Uh, like the very first episode, you can kind of see the progression from the CG to the writing uh, through the whole season. I mean, it just gradually gets better, and and they just they the people who write it um, do an awesome job at telling the story. I would like to point out that if you have not ever seen the classic Flash show, um, John Wesley Ship was the flash in that tv show they did bring him back for this show uh to play his very dad now we get a we get a little bit of interaction with him through most of the episodes but he's in prison through the whole season uh, and you know but the the interaction is still there with him but I, th I thought it was really cool how they brought him back to play in the new show grant gustin as the flash I mean, need I say more? You can't have good writing and bad acting and create a successful show or movie. Um, and with this, it, it goes in hand in hand. I mean, dude is an awesome actor. Um, I haven't seen him on much. I think he was on Glee, like a couple episodes or something like that. But other than that, like, dude plays the role very well. He's an awesome actor. So much props to him. If anybody's ever read the comics, you know that, like, in the comics, the Flash is kind of hot-headed. Well, the show, they play the show a lot of the same way because, without giving too much away, I'll just go ahead and say that, like, 80, 70% of the time, he gets his ass kicked. You know what I mean? The first time he goes, because he goes in there hot-headed. Um, but, you know, he always comes back and wins or whatnot. But the... They, the way they play the show, the writing of it, and and the the acting, they they bring you into the show. They make you feel what's going on. Like you, I, to be honest, they make you catch the feels. I mean, it, hey, you got Daniela Panabaker and Carlos Valdez who plays Cisco and Caitlin. Um, we see quite a bit of them uh, throughout the season too. Um, if you know through their comic counterparts uh, if you read you know some of those comics it they eventually get superhuman powers and in this show what they do is they call them metahumans cisco and caitlin have very strong roles through the whole season um if you watch arrow you know how like arrow's got his little team that's basically what they are um to to the flash in in, in this tv series now you know, they, they all work together. Cisco is like a genius. Uh, Kalen, the same. Uh, which leads me to their boss, so to speak. Dr. Harrison Wells. Okay, so you get a little fishy, sneaking suspicion about him through like the whole... Um, through the whole season, basically. Um, you figure out why towards the end, but... Um, I have to say that Tom Cavanaugh plays this role to a T. Like, like he is an awesome actor. Uh, anytime I see him on anything, he's always been real good. Um, 
for them to bring him in. And that he is supposed to be in the next season, too. Uh, he has been confirmed, so we will be seeing more of his acting. Um, like I said, awesome actor. He plays the role very well. You have your ups and downs about him. You're, you, it makes you to where you're not sure if you should trust him or if you don't. Um, really awesome. Like I said, it goes back to the storyline and the writing of the show. Every bit of it's awesome. You got Jesse L. Martin, who plays the role of Barry's dad, which, I mean, he if, if you don't know who he is, you may know him from Law & Order. He played on that for, for a period of time. Uh, awesome actor, dude. Dude brings one hundred percent every time he's on screen. Um, you know, he, he like I said, he plays his adopted dad. He's a cop, um, and Bar Barry is the scientist for that for that same police department. Which you know they play a lot of off of the comics, um, but he is definitely one character that interacts with Barry the most. I do believe uh, through the whole season. So it is. It is. Pretty awesome to see. Back to the comics, you know what I'm saying? If you if you read the comics and know some of the villains, then they, they did bring a lot of those villains to the screen. Like for instance, they got they brought Peekaboo in, they brought uh Heatwave, and like let me say, like Heatwave, the dude that plays him is like for real crazy. I mean he his acting, you know, is superior for that role because if you know he way from the comics the dude's crazy anyway and you know dude plays it very well we got the next one is uh captain cold we got captain cold the actor that plays him um i would say he's probably a b-list actor i've seen him on a couple things um but he does really really well uh, at at the, the role for this um I mean, there's not much to say without really spoiling anything, like big spoilers about it. But where they, they are doing that show, uh, Legends of Tomorrow, that Heatwave and Captain Cold, they're actually going to be in that too. So there's going to be another spinoff from The Flash, whereas The, the Flash was already a spinoff from Arrow. Because uh, Arrow's on its, you know, it just got done with its third season. And they do do a lot of crossovers. Uh, I want to say that too. Uh, anybody who likes the Arrow, uh, they do. They they've done two or three crossovers on the Arrow, and the same on the Flash. They you know where Air, Oliver Queens came to Central City, <clears throat> and and back and forth. But uh, and let, I just want to say about that the the crossovers are amazing. Like every time they do them, they bring a little bit of comic relief to them. Uh, them two on the, on the set together, man, it's just, it's fun every time they do it. Do want to touch on Firestorm for a minute because they did him a little bit different in the show. Um, but the character who plays Firestorm, Robbie Amell, um, just the name should give it away. But if you watch Arrow, you know that they are brothers, him and Steven, um, the, the, the guy who plays Arrow. Um, and for you to be actually working because you know Grant Gustin and, and Stephen Amell they're really good friends too so to be working with your friends and your brother I would have to say that would be pretty cool. I said earlier the CG gets better throughout the season so we do eventually see Gorilla Grodd. Now that's all I'm going to say I'm not going to give nothing else away but the way they did Gorilla Grodd in the show like that that was pretty cool and I mean we see hints of him throughout the season too which is which is also cool they kind of threw little easter eggs in there through the whole season overall I'm gonna give this show like a 9.5 out of 10 like this is one of my favorite shows aside from The Walking Dead so I'm gonna give it a high rating that like I said the acting is awesome um, the storyline is great anybody who likes the comic they they do simplify it a bit more in the show than what the comics is because the comics gets really out there with all the timelines and stuff like that but they do simplify it pretty much you know for the show to where you can understand it a little bit better but like i said 9.5 out of 10 if you haven't watched it check it out and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all my updates. I'm going to be producing more videos here soon. So be on the lookout for that. Y'all have a good one.